All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and upgrade or replace the hard drive and RAM, uh, as well as the battery on this HP Envy DV7. Um, this is a DV7T-7300. All right, so the battery, if you saw, um, there's just this little latch. You just slide this over, it pops up like that, and then you can take this out. All right, once you do that, well, the battery model, uh, I think there's a replacement one but it says M06. You'll probably want to check yours to make sure it matches. Um, but anyways, we're gonna just remove this one screw. This is a PH1 or JAS1 screwdriver screw. So remove that screw. It'll stay in place. There's a spring on it, but just undo that screw. Once you do that, you can get your fingernail or a little pry tool or something in here. And that, or if you can kind of grab the screw and then you can use that to pull it down, just like that. And then you can lift the cover out. Okay, once you get the cover out, to get to the RAM, it's just right here. You pull these two tabs to the side. The customer replaced this RAM themselves, so I don't know what the original was, but this is PC3 12800S, 8 gigs. Um, if you're replacing it, check and make sure that the PC3 uh, number matches. So PC3 12800S, it should match. Um, if there's a different speed and you try and use it, sometimes it won't work, so keep that in mind. All right, so PC3 12800S. So this computer is actually having a motherboard issue. Um, when I put the battery in, it actually turns itself on. There's the BIOS CMOS battery here with the connector there. If that goes bad, you can kind of, this one has an adhesive, you just peel it off, and then the connector you kind of just grab with your fingernails or fingers and kind of just wiggle it as you pull. You got a connector here. I'm not 100% sure what that's for. It might be for a speaker. Um, and then we got the hard drive here being held in place with two screws. Let's go ahead and remove those two screws. Keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. Um, since we're only removing these two, shouldn't be an issue, but there we go. Once you remove those two screws, use this tab to pull the hard drive this way. All right, after you do that, you can kind of lift it up, but we have to disconnect this cable first. So there's this latch here, grab that and then pull this up just like this, all right? You can lift the hard drive out. Um, we put an SSD in here. Uh, I'm gonna take this out so that they can use it as an external drive and get their data off of it. So I'm gonna remove these four screws here. Okay, this is just gonna be a very simple video. So um, the only other thing I'm gonna show in here is the CD drive. There's the wireless card there. Um, I show that in pretty much every video I do. So I'm not, oops, let me turn off those notifications for a second. All right, and back. Hopefully I don't get more messages because then I have to manually turn them off again. But anyways, we'll remove the four screws here. Okay. Once you get those four screws out, flip this over, drop the hard drive or SSD out. And then to remove this connector, I just get my fingernail, you can use a pry tool or whatever to get between the hard drive connector and the this adapter and then just pry it out just like that all right if you yank on this sometimes it can break so that's why I kind of pry it out that way so here you can see like it, it has this part that separates all right so there's the hard drive connector we're gonna um, leave that out but if you wanted to put it back just get a new hard drive put the new screws in and then reconnect it the way you took it out all right so I'm gonna put this connector back on the board and then to kind of keep the screws together, I'm gonna to use a piece of tape here. So usually what I do is I get a piece of tape and then I kind of like fold over both edges, just like this, so both sides are fold, folded over. And then I'll put the screws inside. I'll stick them on here, just like this. All right. All right, once you got all four screws, um, then I just fold this over to kind of make it like wrapped in a pouch. And the reason I fold this over is so you can use that to peel this apart. So there we go, we got it like that. I'm gonna just stick that on there. Okay, we're gonna put this hard drive thing back. So if you had the hard drive and you took it out, make sure to start it over to the left side. Okay, drop it into place. All right, or you, actually you have to kind of rotate it like this. Drop it into place and then slide it back over. All right, I'm gonna put these two screws back in. The CD drive or the optical drive, whatever you call it, DVD drive, is replaceable. 
Um, if you wanted, you can actually put get a hard drive adapter for this, and then you can put a second hard drive, since a lot of people don't use CD drives anymore. There's just one screw here. Once you get that screw out, you can kind of, I use my fingernail here and kind of move it up and down as I pull, and it eventually wobbles out. So here you go. This is what you would see. So you have this CD drive. Um, they do have hard drive adapters for this kind of thing. Um, but to prevent having this big gap here, you will have to transfer this bezel over. It's a little bit tricky and a lot of times the plastic breaks. Um, but yeah, you can use like a little needle to in here to pop the CD drive out. And then you can go ahead and try and pry that thing out. Anyways, put that CD drive back in. Put this screw back on. Okay. And we're going to just put it back together. That's pretty much all there is to it. This one's very easy to put back together. Um, if you wanted to replace the keyboard, there's a screw here holding it. And there might be some screws in the middle. There's one up here, right, right there. So there's some screws holding it. Um, I'm not going to do that just because the customer didn't ask me to do more work on it and I don't want to risk making even more damage even though it's already not going to work but uh, let's put the battery back in I'll flip it over and kind of show you because a lot of the laptops the HP ones are like that so as you can see the thing I don't know if you heard it but it turned itself on so once you remove the screws you can actually pry the top out here I just use a thin flat pry tool and then you can kind of um, work the keyboard out like this you get it in between and then you can kind of just pry this up. But anyways, I'm gonna leave that in. Once you pry that keyboard up, there's a ribbon cable under there. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's all there's, that's all I'm gonna show. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.